Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Solange. This is their native 1080p home theater projector with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. We're going to dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that you get. Once you get it out of the box, uh, we're going to look at the documentation really quickly. Uh, they do give you a quick start guide here uh, that has some QR codes on it for iPhone connecting v for via iOS mirroring or Android for Android mirroring. And on the other side, a few other tips for uh, MacBook and Windows displays. Uh, as well. So if you do uh, want to connect uh, a laptop or something like that, you can do that easily as well. You do get a, a nice user manual here. It's in English and in Spanish. Uh, it's not micro print. Uh, it's easy to read and follow uh, to a reference. Uh, if you do need to reference this, uh, I would definitely hold on to it just in case. Uh, we're going to put that to the side. Now the first extra that you get with this is a 100 inch 16 by 9 simple projection screen. So if you don't already have a projection screen or you don't have a suitable wall, uh, you can use this and it is included with your purchase. They also give us a remote, which is going to be a pretty simplified remote. You've got your volume controls, mute, your back button, navigation wheel, uh, and your menu buttons with your power button. This does take two AAA batteries that are not included, so just be warned of that. We do have our power cable here. It's a standard uh, two-prong to two-prong AC power cable for powering the unit. We do get an HDMI cable included. Uh, if you're like me, you already have a ton of them, but it's nice that they include that as well. You also get an AV connector for legacy devices that may use uh, yellow for video and red and white for audio. So if you have an older device that uses these, you can connect to the AV port on the projector itself. Now the second extra, other than the screen that they give you that I don't see a lot of times, they give you a tripod, and this is actually pretty cool to have. Uh, it uh, will mount onto a tripod, uh, which tells you that this is, truly is a fairly mini size projector uh, because they include a small uh, tripod and it works uh, no problems whatsoever. They also give you a leveler uh, with the same size hole as the tripod, uh, so you can switch between either one. Now taking a look at the main unit itself, if we look at the lens, it's got a fairly decent sized lens here. Native 1080p supports 4K file playback as well. On the top, we're going to have all of our buttons that we have on our universal remote control, an LED there in the middle as well. And then you're going to have your keystone correction and focus wheels at the top for manual focus. Now you also get uh, electronic keystone, which we'll look at in a little bit more. Now your fan is on the right hand side, and you can remove that cover to clean the fan if you need to. And you do have a speaker in the back. You do have your power on this side. And on the other side, we have all of our connections here. We've got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack for wired headphones or wired speakers. You do have your audio, visual, or AV cable. You do have a, a two full USB ports and a full HDMI port for connectivity on the side with a little bit of venting there. Now on the bottom, we've got uh, four nice feet, but we also have that uh, tripod mount, which is also the same size as the leveler they give you, so they're interchangeable, which I really do like as well. Overall, this is a very small and compact unit, and we're going to check it out in just a moment to see how it performs. Okay, so now we're at the main screen here, and you can see that it is plenty bright. It's rated at 12,000 lumens, uh, so it is a fairly bright uh, projection, as you can see. Some good color representation right off the bat. You can do iOS mirroring, Android mirroring, or you can change your wallpaper in the upper left-hand corner. So if we want to pick a different uh, picture, we can do that, and it will change our wallpaper. Clock in the middle, up in the right-hand corner, you have... Uh, stuff here for your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi. So if we go into settings, let's take a look at our Wi-Fi. 
Uh, Wi-Fi is supported is going to be a 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Now I'm connected to my 5 gigahertz network and this is going to make uh, screen mirroring much better on the faster networks. Bluetooth settings are also here because it does have Bluetooth so you can hook up uh, external Bluetooth headphones or speakers if you would like to. So that is definitely welcome as well. Now under projection, we can do the cast mode, and this is going to be for if you're going to mount this upside down or anything like that. You can change that. You can also rotate the entire screen if you would like to, uh, left or right, depending on how you want to uh, rotate it. Uh, so if you need to kind of get this into a smaller area, you also have a zoom feature that you can go down to 50%. So if you need to be projecting onto something smaller, you can do that as well. Vertical and horizontal correction. So you do have that. Plus you have 4D uh, keystone correction as well. Uh, so if you uh, have it on a space where you need to adjust the corners, you can fine tune all of them with the 4D electronic uh, adjustments right here. So this is very handy to get that perfect picture for wherever you're going to be projecting. Now you can reset your keystone here as well and that kind of rounds us out on projection options. Now let's take a look at system updates. Since we are connected uh, we can do online upgrades or local upgrades and we can restore a factory here as well. Okay, in general settings, we have a timer shutdown, so a sleep timer. Uh, you can go from uh, 0.5 hours or 30 minutes all the way up to three hours. You do have language settings here and they have plenty of different languages for you to choose from. Uh, so if English is not your first language, they've got you covered here on language settings as well. Time zone settings here, uh, once you connect to Wi-Fi, it will automatically select yours. I am in Eastern Daylight Time, and that is where it set it up, so it is doing that correctly. Now, you also have System Info here, where it has your a d device name, system version, and software version as well. Okay, so for mirroring, since I have an Android device, I'm going to do this for Android. And you can see it gives you a selection of either a laptop or a phone or tablet. Uh, I'm going to just fire up my smart view on my Samsung phone and we're going to look for something called MCAST uh, with a bunch of numbers after it. It will be different for your unit obviously. Uh, and we are going to connect to this. It does not take too long to connect and I will show you the quality in just a moment here. You can see that my phone is now connected and if I rotate my phone I'm going to get a nice big image here. Uh, there's really no latency to this. Uh, very minute if at any at all. Uh, very smooth. Uh, so playing back uh, you know something like YouTube or something like that would be no problems with this whatsoever. Now if you want to do something like uh, protected movies like Netflix or Prime Video or something like that, you're going to need to plug in uh, a, uh, a fire stick or something that can handle that into the HDMI connection. Signal source, you can choose from AV, HDMI, or USB. Now I do have a, a USB file that I usually test. It's captured in 4K. It's a Fortnite gaming file uh, that I recorded. So I am on my USB here. Uh, we're going to turn up the volume so that you can hear the quality of the speakers. And then we're going to show you exactly uh, what this looks like. Okay, so you can see that the color reproduction is really good on this, a nice clear picture. 
plays back 4K files very easily. And we can go into some settings here as well. Uh, so if we do want to adjust the picture even more, we can. You can see in picture settings here, uh, we're going to have a lot of different settings uh, that we can adjust. Uh, so it's on user right now. Uh, we can adjust this to vivid, and you can see that the uh, brightness goes up. You can also adjust uh, the uh, backlight, brightness, contrast, saturation, hue, sharpness, gamma, color temperature, uh, it's some advanced video settings, and even more. So you do have a lot of options when adjusting your picture. Now, I wanted to do this in a uh, default mode to show you the actual clip at the beginning of the clip so that you know what it's like out of the box. But you do have a ton of different options here uh, also with sound as well. And as you can see in the sound menu, we do have our balance, bass, treble, surround sound, equalizer detail, speakers for external audio systems, if you're going to be doing that, uh, your digital output, uh, your DTS, DRC, and a bunch of other things uh, like auto volume control as well. So you have a lot of fine tuning controls on this particular projector, uh, so you can fine tune it to exactly how you want it to be. Okay, so that's my review of the Solange, a native 1080p home theater projector with Bluetooth and a dual a band Wi-Fi. This is an interesting projector. They give you a lot of extras like that 100-inch screen and a tripod, which is really great. But the actual projector itself is small and compact. Uh, it is native 1080p, but does support 4K file playback, which is also great. Supports uh, mirror cast uh, and iOS casting for your iOS or Android devices, uh, and has a great picture when you're playing back media, uh, whether it be you know clips, uh, MP4 files, or uh, you know a console, a gaming console that's hooked up to it. You're going to get good colors out of this, and you're really going to get a lot of options to fine tune that picture, like I showed you, and also with your sound as well, because you can hook up external Bluetooth speakers if you don't like the built-in speaker itself. If you're looking for a home theater projector uh, that you could use for outdoor movie nights now that summer's coming up, or if you just want to hook up your gaming console, then this one might be one you want to check out. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.